Hey, what is good, my fellow masters? We finally have the pre-release campaign for the Caldea Summer Adventure, the summer 2023 event we've all been waiting for. Well, for me personally, pretty much since like after the anniversary and of course, you know, the conclusion of Lost Belt 6. But I digress. The campaign period for this pre-release will go from April 22nd, 2100 PDT to the 29th, ending at 2059 PDT. And with this pre-release is a social media campaign where if we reach 25,000 combined reactions, likes, shares, and retweets, all that good stuff from Twitter and Facebook, everyone will get six Saint Quartz. Please keep in mind that if things go as they did on JP, then we should get a Caldea broadcasting stream around the end of this pre-release. And with that, hopefully we also get some bonus SQ to tack on to this social media campaign SQ. But that's not it for Saint Quartz. There is going to be a special login bonus with this pre-release. And if you log in for a total of seven times, you can gain up to three Saint Quartz, along with a couple of golden apples and a couple of silver apples. For specific servants related to the event coming up, there will be two times the chance of super and great success. As you can see, the list of servants is pretty expansive and a lot of them are, of course, summer servants. Further along these lines, half AP costs for related servants rank up quests. Not to mention interlude quests for eligible servants related to the event. And then Lysengo was so kind to give us advance notice as to which servants will receive an event bonus. That way, if you do have any of these servants, but perhaps not leveled up, then you have a chance to do so before the actual event starts. And of course, the majority of these servants are summer themed, as you can see from here. This pre-release campaign for the Caldea Summer Adventure has a pickup summon banner. And on the banner are two permanent SSR riders, along with two limited SR servants. We have the scarred beauty of a pirate captain, Francis Drake, who is notable to have a 50% NP battery and in my opinion is a solid AoE Buster Rider that is made even better when paired up with Double Coin Skya. Francis Drake will always be available on a rate up every Valentine's event, and she will also have a banner in November of 2024, the Singularity Repair Support Campaign. The second SSR Rider on the banner is the trusty captain of the Nautilus, Nemo, who can be a capable single target arts rider, he has a few party-wide buffs which help, but perhaps most notable for him is the extra damage he does to super large enemies, an effect that's tied to his MP. Similar to Francis Drake, Nemo will be available on Raid Up every year at the same time during March for the Caldea Boys Collection event, otherwise known as the White Day event in, on JP. Nemo will also be on Raid Up October 2024 during the Imaginary Scramble main interlude release, and then in January of 2025, the Lost Belt 7 pre-release campaign. But perhaps a bit more compelling are the limited SRs that are on this banner as well, starting with the Summer Archer class version of Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed. If you like to collect the Summer Servants, where the SRs can sometimes be more difficult to acquire than the Summer SSRs, this may seem like a good opportunity to roll for them. Fortunately, they will have another confirmed banner in the future, around April of 2024, for the pre-release campaign for the Learn with Manga event. And then there is the space bounty hunting cheerleader Calamity Jane, whom I found to be a pretty fun unit to use. She does have some restrictions based around how many critical stars are available that might hinder her kit somewhat. But if that doesn't deter you and you're still interested in acquiring her, but can't afford to roll at the moment, she will be available again for summoning around August or September of 2024 during a downloads campaign expected for NA. As you can see here, there is a specific summoning schedule for the servants. The specific banner for Francis Drake will start on Tuesday, August 22nd at the start of the pre-release campaign, and Nemo will follow suit the very next day at 2100 PDT, August 23rd. Both banners will end on August 29th, 2059 PDT. And I should not forget to mention that the limited time craft essences from previous summer events will be available. 
There will be the CEs from 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Now, while some of these CEs are actually quite nice in terms of the effects that they can provide, I wouldn't specifically go out of my way to roll for them if you happen to not have one in particular, unless you really, really want them and have the SQ to spare. And that is my very brief summary of the pre-release for the Caldea Summer Adventure. I just want to point out that the planned distribution period for the social media campaign SQ is indicated to start on August 31st, 0100 PDT. And you know what that means? That pretty much means after a server maintenance. And from that, as Sherlock Holmes would probably say, we can deduce that the Caldea Summer Adventure event will start on August 31st, 0100 PDT. I'm definitely hyped up to play this event. How about you? At any rate, I will be working on a guide video for this event, so please look forward to it. Thank you as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone.